Hello, this is Boobit from Gamer Dads, bringing you another uh, retro geeky toy type review thingy. And uh, today is the turn of the toy version of the Matt Smith Sonic Screwdriver from the latest series. Quite a nice little bit of kit here. I do like this one very, very much. In fact, this is uh, quite uh, steampunky in its design. And to give you a compar size comparison to the last Dr. David Tennant's uh, screwdriver replica there. Um, this one, as you can see, is a lot thicker, a lot chunkier, a lot longer. I mean, even if we extend this, exactly the same length, that's exactly the same length extended as this one, unextended, but when you press the button, as you can see, it just feels a lot better made, a lot better, a bit chunkier, a lot nicer in general, really. See, there's a review of this uh, separately on YouTube. If you go and look at my channel for that. But yes, um, let's give you a little rundown of the of the toy itself, I guess. Um, as you saw there, spring loaded, which is always a good thing. I like a good spring loaded action. Little button just here. You press that, clunk. The uh, claws extend, and the whole thing extends. Looks in like a kind of a green crystal-y kind of thing in there. I'm sorry to the Doctor Who geeks, I don't know the name of the, 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 the substance inside. I'm sure someone will correct me in the comments. Um, I'm going to go to my crest and go a bit closer there. So, as you can see, it's plastic. Yes, means to be expected really with a toy like this, but got some nice little designs. I like the fact that uh, you've got this kind of fake... This bit in the, in the show is actually leather, so obviously this is to signify that. you got two buttons, one one here for the sound, one here for the, for the springy bit. And as you press that, this button actually, interestingly enough, I don't know if it's the design of the actual toy, or I've never noticed in the show, if he does this in the show, isn't extended, this, but this only works when it's actually down. If you press the button when it's um, extended, it doesn't. I think that's the design of the toy. Now to get round this, the manufacturers have actually put a button hidden away in the bottom of the toy here. So you go like that. So when it's extended, you have to press the button and uh, and you get the noise like that. Which means, uh, I'm wondering whether that's actually in the show. I've seen some bits where he's holding it kind of like this above his head. And maybe he's pressing the bottom there. I've not really noticed. Again, you know, Doctor Who real fans will um, correct me in the show notes, I'm sure. But yes, yeah, so it's it's a compromise, but it's there. Another interesting feature of this, though, if we put it down, is the actual sound chip. Now, as you, as you saw there, let's switch it to macro again. We press that button once. It's actually got multiple sounds on this, and there's actually Easter eggs on here. People don't realise this is in the instructions. You press it once, okay, you get this noise. That's the second noise. That's the first noise. You press it a second time, you get that noise. This is where it gets interesting. Now, this works for the bottom button as well. If you press it three times and hold it, you get a third noise, so one, two, three, which is kind of like a, I guess, it making readings of something. You press it four times and, and put it in, you actually get a noise, uh, which I think sample from the first ever uh, show of the new series, where, where it's actually broken. So if you press it four times, one, two, three, four, and hold. You can see there even the light changes there, like it's uh, broken and it's flickering. There's a the noise. I think it's quite a nice little touch. Um, so one, two times, that's four times, and that's three times. So you you get the idea with that. But um, you know, it's a nice little touch. I like that. It's um, again solid construction. Uh, you know, good little sound chip in there. I do really love that. That I, I mean. Everyone's yeah, well, seen the first Matrix films. I mean, the, the phones in those were cool because they did that. Anything with spring loaded uh, mechanism in it is a win by me. But yeah, there you go. That's the um, 
Matt Smith uh, Sonic screwdriver, again lovely uh, little toy. There's another version of this actually in metal that's actually a real screwdriver um, that you, you know put uh, screwdriver bits in and uh, you know use it for your DIY which um, I'm going to be reviewing separately um, but here it is just here as you can see slightly chunkier um, same kind of um, scale as this toy one here there's the toy, there's the metal one same kind of scale, except this one doesn't flick up, it's just a solid metal thing, whereas, whereas obviously this you can have a play about with it and, you know, wave it about and do what you need to do. So yeah, there you go, that is the um, Science Screwdriver toy. Thanks for watching this, uh, please check back to my channels for the um, for the other reviews of the Science Screwdrivers and also some other geeky tech, and uh, check out the Retrocast, which is my uh, retro gaming uh, show that I make with uh, a few of the guys from Gaming Dads, and uh, see you around. Thank you.